Mental Health Recovery Measure is a 30-item self-report measure designed to assess the recovery process for individuals who have serious and persistent mental illness. MHRM are also available in many languages such as Korean, Chinese, French and others. The purpose of Mental Health Recovery Measure Assessment are stated as below. This part covers the types, target populations, and domain being assessed by MHRM assessment. Administration procedure. This assessment can be administered at a self-report or individual interview. Respondents is required to fill in the answers using pencils and encouraged to answer all questions. MHRM is scored using a 5-point Likert scale 0 to 4 for each statement. This is the assessment form of MHRM. It is consists of 30 items. MHRM has 8 subscales which are overcoming stuckness, self-empowerment, learning and self-redefinition, -re basic functioning, overall well-being, new potentials, spirituality and advocacy or enrichment now let's watch the video oh hello hi good morning um how are you today miss hello good morning i'm good thank you oh good to hear uh, my name is farisha and i am going to be your occupation therapist for today so for today's session i'm going to conduct an assessment it calls Mental health recovery measures and don't worry, it only takes about 5 minutes to administer. Mm, may I know what is this for? The purpose of this assessment is to assess your receptions of your recovery process. So all of your emotions that you provide will be remain confidential and it's only going to be used for medical purpose. And are you okay to take this assessment? Okay, sure. So the goal of this questionnaire is to assess how you view your own current recovery process. So for this assessment, there is no right or wrong answer. You are advised to read each of the statements carefully with regard to your own recovery process. You may fill it up in the appropriate circle to indicate how much you disagree for each statement. Okay, that's all. Do you have any questions? Mm, no. So you may start now. I have completed this questionnaire. Okay, thanks. Um, let me calculate the cover score. These are the answers that respondent has answered. So we just total up the answer from the item number 1 to item number 30. So strongly disagree means 0, disagree 1, not sure is 2, agree is 3, strongly agree is 4. So just total up everything and then you can refer to the items for each subscales. So from the subscale here we can identify in which area that the respondent have problem with. So for this assessment, the score is ranging from 0 to 100. 0 means low recovery and 100 means high recovery. I see. see. So for your result, the total score is 23. Mm -hmm. So we will plan interventions based on the result you have obtained today. So that's all. I'll see you next. Thank you. You're welcome. See you again. MHRM has good test retest reliability and demonstrated excellence internal consistency. Validity MHRM 20 was positively correlated with other assessments, thus, it has good convergent validity. 
Mental health recovery measure assessment also have good divergent validity. What is the advantage of MHRM assessment? Among the advantages are it is easy to administer, not time consuming, and it is also a reliable assessment. The disadvantages are normal version, it is self reported, so the respondent might overestimate or underestimate their recovery level. Since there is no money version available, non-English speakers may have some difficulties answering the questions.